We've talked before on the show about Reef Relief. This is a nonprofit organization that's dedicated to improving and restoring our coral reef ecosystem. Next week, they're going to be bringing back the Wild and Scenic Film Festival to Key West. This is actually considered to be the nation's premier wildlife film festival. These films will inform, ignite, and inspire possibilities and solutions to restore the earth and human community. Mel, thank you for being back on the show with yeah, me today. Yeah, thanks for having me. Well, it's exciting that you guys are bringing back this film festival. I know that this is going to be the third year you're doing it. That's right. It's the only uh, fi Wild and Scenic Film Festival in the state of Florida, and we're hosting it right here in Key West, so we're super excited. Let's talk about some of the films. If you could give me a little summary of the ones that they can see. Well, the theme is Climate for Change, mm -hmm. and so um, we have six short film documentaries. We have one that's an environmental thriller, um, and uh, we have one that's kind of artistic about uh, what's the last hundred years of the impacts of plastics um, in the ocean. Uh, we have a film about biomimicry, which is a, um, a new term to me, mm -hmm. but when I screen the film, it's, it's great. It's how animals have already figured a lot of stuff out, like mm -hmm. how to um, be energy efficient in their world and how we can learn from them. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we have a film about a beauty pageant in the South Pacific, mm -hmm. um, which is a, my favorite of them all. Mm -hmm. And uh, that one, um, the theme of the beauty pageant is climate change and sea level rise, which we're seeing the impact already here in the Keys as well. Mm -hmm. um, but they're even further along in the South Pacific. So these films um, are uh, to like, like, um, like they're described, to inspire and educate people and, uh, and hopefully bring about some action that we can do um, right here in the Keys. Mm -hmm. Well, since this is your third time that you are hosting this, why is it so important for you guys to continue showing this each year? Well, um, these are important issues that um, you know, people should be aware of. And I think for the most part, we are here in the Keys, but sometimes we need to be reminded that these even the things that we do here that affect our local area, mm -hmm. we can make change happen uh, globally. So, mm -hmm. you know, I feel like um, film inspires people mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and uh, art inspires people. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's, a, it's another way to, to get people more aware and, and hopefully get them to take action. Mm -hmm. What has the response been in the past two years that you did at Mel? Well, um, last year was great. We, uh, you know, at the Tropic Cinema, we have the main theater, and uh, we nearly packed the place. So we had a super right. response. It right. also means tickets are limited, um, and they're only $10 this year. For an extra $5, we'll give you a year membership to Reef Relief as well, which is our backbone, our, our membership. So, um, but they are limited. I think they see maybe 150 people or so. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we're expecting a huge turnout. Mm -hmm. And go over the date and the time again. For well, everybody. it's uh, next mm -hmm. Thursday mm -hmm. um, on the 18th, mm -hmm. and uh, we have a reception at 7. We'll, we'll have some finger food out there for, uh, for some snacks and a little reception, and then we'll introduce the film. Um, it's about an hour and a half mm -hmm. um, of film, so it'll, it'll be about 7 to 9. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now Mel, I understand that you also right now you have a center. You have your center back open to the public. Yeah, cor after Coral Camp ended, we reopened the center to the public. It's at 631 Green Street, and mm -hmm. you can come out and visit us uh, Monday through Friday from 10 to 4, and check out our interactive exhibits and our theater. Do people who come out do they learn a lot from just taking a tour of the center, Mel? Absolutely, we get a lot of people from uh, other countries or other states that are unfamiliar with. Um, uh, our North America's only barrier reef mm -hmm. and so they learn a lot there. And of course this is an important year for you because you are celebrating your 25th year. That's right. Year, <laughs> which is an awesome, awesome thing. Thank you, yeah. For more information on Reef Relief you can check out the website that you see on the bottom of the screen right now. Thank you so much for being on the show with me. Appreciate you. it. That's going to do it for me today everyone. I thank you for tuning in this morning. I hope you have a great weekend. I will be back Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. and again at 8.30 a.m. Take care and have a great rest of your day.